Hey guys, have you read the Wall Street Journal? Thank you. Technical effects work once in a while. More good news. People are buying homes again. Now, people were really off the market and it wasn't really practical to buy a home for a long time. It was cheaper to rent. Okay, but now we have a low inventory. People are making more money. People are going back to work. Our unemployment rates are lower. The stock market is doing well. Real estate is really doing good in key markets, especially on the West and East Coast and some parts of the South and Southwest. So what do we have here? A classic supply and demand situation. What does that basically mean? If the supply is low, that means prices go up. People want to buy homes now, but there's not that many on the market. What does that mean? That we're going to have to start building homes again, building more homes. That takes time. You don't just don't build a home like that really quick. Okay, so the prices, the homes that are on the market right now are going up in value. For those of you who have been listening to me who are going out there and lease optioning properties, that means leveraging, controlling properties with very little money and locking up the price and the ability to purchase that home or choose not to buy it, depending on the market. But with the lease purchase, if it goes up in value, which all the facts say, Okay, real estate can be a little emotional sometimes, just like the stock market and anything else. But we add everything up on a plus and minus chart, and it's definitely a plus right now. Real estate is still very strong, very healthy. Inventory is low, and more people want to buy homes. Let me read this to you real quick. For the first time in a decade, more U.S. households have chosen to buy homes rather than rent, suggesting a long-term decline in home ownership rates might be coming to an end. People are moving out of mom and dad's attic, and they want their own place. Who doesn't, right? So... You need to be out there. You need to be locking up properties, lease purchase properties. Get one for yourself. Live in it if you don't own a home now so you can buy it in the future. You know it's going to go up in value and you're going to have something wonderful. We're going to experience something called appreciation. Homes that will go up in value. So if you have a lease option on it, you can buy that home and have instant equity when you buy it a year, two, five years later. If you don't want to buy it, you can keep it as an investment property. Or you could just sell the contract to somebody else. You have choices. And that's the wonderful thing about it. For you investors out there, get hold of some properties, rent them out. Even if you break even, they will go up in value. If you can make money, option money up front, positive cash flow every month. My daughter's first three words, by the way, positive cash flow. Hey, it's not so bad. And um, old joke, I use it all the time. And it'll go up in the back end too. The value will go up. So let's take the facts. Let's not get emotional. Let's just go out there and lock up properties because we know on a long-term basis, real estate is still the best investment out there. This is Claude Diamond in back in Colorado, snowy Colorado. And I answer my own phone. Nobody else does that. 970-281-5151. And nobody, nobody deserves success more than you guys. Take care.